Hey everybody, Mark Spector Comics and I'm back. This time I wanted to give you a preview of Wednesday night's Bruno and Company Auctioneers comic book auction. If you're interested in uh, checking out some of the cool books, stay tuned for that intro. Alright, so I'm back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so that when I do put out some content, you get in a timely fashion. Um, like I said, I want to talk a little bit about the Wednesday night's auction on Bruno and Company's auctioneers. Um, I like to talk about this uh, this website when they do their auctions because, um, like if you watch one of my previous videos, you can get some pretty good books here um, that are not often shown on the big auction company sites like Heritage, Comic Link, Comic Connect. Christie's and so forth. Um, so sometimes you can get some pretty cool books here that fly under the radar or that would be, you know, sometimes good prices, sometimes go for record prices, but then you get those books that, you know, you get for a decent price. So um, I like to point these out when they do come up. So um, they're doing, I want to say it's a 240 book lot. I'm going to go over some of the, um, the books that I think are worth mentioning. And uh, and uh, we'll just go through them pretty quickly, okay? So um, let's take a look. So first lot looks like an 18-piece lot. Wow, it's already up at $550. Jeez. And um, <coughs> excuse me. I like to point out that they do put their estimates here. Like I said, it's a rough estimate based off of the person hosting the actual auction on what they think the books you know either may sell for or what they tell the actual person who's uh, putting the books up for auction what they should expect to ideally get so <clears throat> it's a rough guide there is an extremely low grade action comics 242.5 already going for a hundred dollars um, Personally, it's a really cool book. I just don't think it's really investable at that low of a grade. Um, here's a good book to spec on is um, a uh, uh, Marvel Comics alias number one. This is the first uh, Jessica Jones. I'm pretty sure we should expect to see her coming up in a future project. So that's pretty cool. This is a nice book right here. It's a nice little spec book. First Lady Deathstrike and it's a newsstand. Pretty high grade. All right, scrolling down. Like I said, I'll just highlight some books that I think are worth mentioning as I go through. Don't want this uh, video to be too long. Um, so like I said, there's 240 books in here. 240 lots, not books. There's more than that. Um, here's a, let's see, decent grade here, 6.5 of um, Death of Gwen Stacy. And also... A decent grade as well here for um, first uh, appearance of Wolfman at a 6.0. It's already going for 180 though. So uh, um, let's see, scrolling down. Oh, here's a good book right here, an 8.5 Amazing Spider-Man issue number 300. It is a new stand, um, currently at 325. Estimated between four and six hundred, it'll. I expect it to go up at least six hundred. I would definitely be surprised if it doesn't. Um, let's take a look. There's quite a bit of amazing Spider-Man books on here, to be honest. Um, there's a good one. Good spec book is uh, ASM 365 for Spidey 2099 at a 9.6. I actually have the same book at the same grade. It's already going for 60 bucks. It's a nice book to hold on to as I do think that character has some legs going forward. Uh, still on the A's. All right, going into Avengers now. Um, there we go. Got a nice uh, 9.0 copy of 
first appearance of the black mask. That might be something to keep an eye on as well. It's only at thirty dollars right now. It's a new stand copy, which makes no difference in that year. Um, let's see. Let's take a look. There's a nice grade of uh, Captain America Annual Number Eight Classic. Um, Mike Zek cover. I do have this book. It's not graded though. I'll eventually have to send it off. Um, and uh, this is a fun book right here. Is the uh, I like you know I'm a big Bronze Age horror you know sci-fi person. I like to uh, point these out when I do see them. This is a giant sized Chillers issue number one at a seven point five, which is a pretty decent grade. And it's already going for a hundred dollars. It's the first appearance of Lilith. If you're not familiar, it's the daughter of Dracula. Um, let's take a look. What else do we got here? There you go. It's a fun book. I've been keeping an eye on is the uh, DC Comics presents 26 at an 8.0. First appearance of the new Teen Titans. A book I've been you know, actively pursuing for this year. Um, not in a rush to get it because there are quite a bit of them out there in the census. It's just a matter of trying to find the right grade for the right price. Um, an 8.0 would be the bare minimum that I would get for this book just because it's a book from the 80s. But that's just my opinion. All right, so let's go to page two. I got another Eternals book. So many, I feel like there's Eternals books in every single one of these comic auctions. People are still trying to offload them after the movie bombed. Um. This is a good book to pick up here, is in my opinion. This is the uh, Fantastic Four issue number 45. First Lockjaw, First Inhumans. Um, for the longest time, this book is still grossly undervalued, in my opinion. Um, 3.0 is personally too low of a grade for me. When you can get 5.0 is for right around like $500. So I try to get a higher grade if, if I was uh, actively pursuing this book. Um, it'll be interesting to see where <laughs> this book goes for. This is a nice book. Um, Fantastic Four 52, First Black Panther. It's, uh, it says here that it's three extra staples added after manufacturing. And it's a blue label. That's interesting. Um, this is a great book. Big fan of uh, Wally West. This is uh, obviously the second series of Flash. Um, well, no, not the second series. This is, I think, the third series. Um, but this is a fun book. I do have this book in a 9.8. It's not a new stand, but um, it is a 9.8 nonetheless. And it's just a great cover. All right. These are two good books to spec on if you're Green Lantern fans. First appearance of Kyle Rayner. Uh, you got you got issue 48 and 50, which is um, uh, 50 is the uh, first appearance as Kyle Rayner as the Green Lantern. Um, I do have both of these books; they're not graded as well, but um, I believe they're. Uh, oh no, it's 40. I think it's 49 and 50 that are DC Universe label logos, but. Uh, 48 is not, but um, I like Kyle Rayner. He's one of, I think he's like top two of my uh, favorite Green Lanterns. The, um, I, I do like John Stewart as well, but uh, Kyle Rayner is probably my favorite one of the uh, Green Lanterns out of all of them that there are out there. Here's a nice one right here. It's Hulk 340 out of 9.4. This is a pretty good grade for the book. I think this will do pretty well in the auction as well. Um, nice near mint copy of uh, 
Iron Man 118, first appearance of Jim Rhodes. We do know there is an Armor Wars series coming up, so this would be ideally a good time to pick up this book at a nice grade. And along with that is issue 282 at Near Mint, newsstand copy. So these are just books, like when I'm looking at these auctions, I kind of like keep in the back of my head. Do a little bit of research, look up their prices on GPA, do a comparison, and depending on if I'm you know, watching the auction live, when it gets to the prices, if I find it for a good price, I'll buy it. So that's kind of like the mindset I put in when I look at these books. Um, got a couple of copies of Moon Knight issue number one. We all know there's a series coming up right around the corner. And uh, this is a great book to have. First appearance of Khonshu, first appearance of Raul Bushman. And it's his first uh, ongoing series. So a lot of uh, good first to get for this book. Uh, let's see. This is a fun book right here. First appearance of Omax, some great DC Kirby goodness right here. Um, oh, this is fun right here. You got some uh, EC Comics Panic 1 through 10. Not something you see often. Um, ideally, I'd be only after issue number one because it's a nice Christmas cover. But um, that is pretty cool to see that. Uh, we got two copies of She-Hulk number one. Obviously, we know that she has a series coming up, I believe, later this year. Um, and you got a 9-0 newsstand and a 9-4 direct. Um, the first, oh, this is cool. DC Comics Showcase number 53. First comic book appearance of G.I. Joe. Mm -hmm. yeah, a nice near mint copy of first appearance of the White Tiger, a.k.a. Hector Ayala. It's a great spec book. It's a really actually a fun read as well, too, and that, um, Spectacular Spider-Man series. Um, let's see, what else do we got here? I'm just trying to move along a little bit quicker. Let's see if there's um, some other books to mention. For you Turtles fans, there is a, a series of uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle books up here for auction. Quite a bit here. And uh, going on to the last page, let's see, we got some early Tales to Astonish and Tales of Suspense. There's a fun book right here, T Tales of the Teen Titans 44, 9.6, first appearance of Dick Grayson as Nightwing and Jericho. Nice high grade copy, actually you have two high-grade copies. They're both currently at 130. Um, it'd be interesting to see what they go for because typically when you have two books, same grade, going back to back, at times you can get the second one for a little bit cheaper. But not always. We'll see. Um, Thor 225. First appearance of Fire Lord. This is a great book, um, heavily spec'd on as uh, one of the first Galactus, um, one of the first heralds of Galactus to potentially show up in a future MCU project. Uh, so it'll be good to see what this book sells for. And of course, one of my favorite books right here is uh, Thor issue number 337, first appearance of Beta Ray Bill. Great, great book. Can't wait for him to actually show up in the uh, MCU whenever he does. And let's say we're getting towards the end of the comic lots because we're getting into the X-Men titles. Um, let's see, 9-2 copy of First Mr. Sinister. Um, let's see, what else? You got a really big lot here, 18 piece lot of Werewolf by Night, issues 1 through 43. Um, 32, 33 
are not in there, which is the uh, first and second appearances of Moon Knight, but there is a pretty good lot. And then there's a 26 piece lot as well, Werewolf by Night as well, following that same lot. Um, so that, those are fun books, if, especially if you're trying to get those fillers. And um, let's see, got a 90 copy of the Wolverine Limited Series, issue number one. Getting right towards the end here, it's some Wolverine books, some Wonder Woman books. And then some big, uh, like I said, 22, 22 piece lots. And then a final lot of Bronze Age key issues. So uh, that's it. Um, like I said, I wanted to do a fairly quick um, preview of tomorrow night's auction at uh, Bruno and Company Auctioneers. If uh, you're interested in checking that out, you know, go on their website, download the app. It's pretty easy to do and register, and you can, you know, participate in the auction. So uh, hopefully you guys like that. If you did, feel free to hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, Rockspect the Comics, out.